start it up. Okay, now we are finally live. Okay, so yes, what I was saying is that uh, generally whenever students have any kind of questions whatsoever, they think about asking me and many times like, you know, the emails that I receive, they're all over the place. Sometimes at Bharat at BharatInGermany.com, sometimes on Instagram and things like that. That's why I like to take this live session every two weeks so that when you have questions regarding studying in Germany, then you can actually do that and you don't have any kind of problems whatsoever, right? Because maybe you have some individual question, maybe you want to uh, go through the entire master's admit profile and things like that because all of those details we have like generally covered. And if I see maybe like you have a particular profile and maybe would you fit or not, then all of these things I generally cover directly in the live session. No? So that's that. Um, for people joining in new, my name is Bharat and I did my master's in international management and engineering from Technical University of Hamburg. And then after that, like um, I started Big Academy and started my main business, which is called Brandavice Consulting SRL. It is a marketing consulting company. And we take care of different kind of marketing campaigns, Facebook ads, YouTube ads, and so on for different kind of other companies. Yeah? So let's first start the live session with our standard question, which is, which city are you joining in from? And when are you planning to come? Chance I always have. Sanju is saying, dude, 500 euros for a crash course, most can't afford. So Sanju, now the thing is, for 500 euros for Indian standards doesn't feel like like feels like a lot but like for Germany it's really not a lot we have support till the time students actually are done with their studies and no other consultancy provides that because they do not care if the students actually succeed in a particular journey or not we actually care and that's why we have to like keep this balance somehow so we have Disha joining in from Jodhpur that's really cool. Then we have Shimla. We have Pune. I remember we had a, this webinar, the seminar in Pune in 2019. Man, missed those times. How to shortlist any words at VM. Okay, so then we have Rishabh also saying Delhi in 2023. Okay. That's also good. Obey the Singh, is there any Pakistani in your team? So not in the team, but we have uh, them as students. So anybody like, you know, who's joining in the course, we also have a few people, well, two people exactly from Pakistan. Patiala, Gujarat, Chennai, Assam, Surat. Okay, perfect. That's nice. So now we jump into the main questions and some of the background. Okay, so one thing that I always talk about is like, you know, when you're joining in, just like close all of the other tabs so that you're not so uh, distracted by all of these things. 100 euro coupon discount that we are having in this live session that is going to expire tonight at 23.59 Central European uh, summer time. Okay. Then about the story, I know that many people want to always know that, like, you know, what is what is this guy's story? Where is he from? Um, what is his background? So I was born in 1995, 1st January 1995. Then I did my preschooling in Germany. It was from 97 to 99. Then afterwards, I came back and um, I had the entire schooling and like, you know, the JE exams that we generally have. Just a second. Yeah. Then afterwards, I started my BTEC, BTEC uh, in Dean Bandhu Chotram University of Science and Technology in Murtal. And then afterwards, in 2014, in the conference, I met Alina. Um, afterwards, uh, towards the end of third year in 2015, I was able to come for an internship at Slash Begaman Partner. So this has been like my story so far with like, you know, going back and forth between India and Germany till the time my BTEC ended. Now, once my BTEC ended, Archit is saying, why did you do, do preschooling in Germany? So my father, he was a scientist at that time. So that's why we were able to actually, um, I was able to actually like, you know, follow with my father there. And he was working at the University of Freiburg. 
from 97 to 99 and of course at that time like you know when you're young so i think at 97 i was like two three years old yeah uh, at that time you cannot actually really go to a school or something that's why i will see if does somebody want to moderate just a second okay so yeah that that was the main thing my father was working as a scientist that's that's the main thing then afterwards the btech ended and okay so my moderator has joined as bharat Chaudhary. <laughs> okay but now he's a moderator and any kind of like you know spam we have like somebody just like posting the same thing over and over again we will have to unfortunately just block it out Say they're saying by salary or package kitni lagegi just casually. By no idea. Ye to matlab baad mein ek baar jo hai baat ke dekhte hain jab Q&A session start hota hai. Let's go through this for now. So B Tech ends in 2016. I started my structural engineering in 2016. I started YouTube. Then in 2017, January 2017, I did my first India meetup. Was a complete flop. We had nobody. We had 20 registrations, but nobody showed up. Then I changed my course from um, structural engineering to internationales Wirtschaftsingenieurwesen, which was a bilingual program technically, but 94% of the subjects were essentially uh, in German. Then afterwards, we had the second India meetup. More people showed up. Then I started Big Academy in 2018. Then in 2019, we had our largest meetup so far with 4,000 people. And towards the end, I finished my master's and I started Brandwise. This is my main business. And this is also like, you know, compliant with what I was um, studying previously. So my master's was essentially like with specialization in marketing and all of the things that I learned there, I'm able to like also like, you know, kind of utilize here. So Kaushik is saying as a BIG course student, I can attest to the value of this course. And that is awesome. So I think like for Kaushik, we have posted um, on Instagram too about his um, I think he got admit now into Darmstadt or Braunschweig something like that and he is going to be taking a GRE uh, let's say workshop for us in the course so I'm like super excited about that too welcome Kaushik okay so the end goal for me was that we actually like you know finished through the course and we are having the native German flu fluency um, and having the masters both of these things were like super important for me and I was able to like you know manage both of that Brandwise, the company we are so revamping everything right now. You will find a new website like very soon. Okay, Braunschweig. Yeah, to you, Braunschweig. Very nice. So we are going to be revamping everything. So you will find a super cool new website, and all of these things are going to be completely changed. But our work has been going on still consistently. The management and execution of marketing campaigns for major German companies. We are also trying to expand to Europe, but of course everything takes time. Um, so far, like you know, we are having like good business in Germany. So let's talk about the bachelor's part. I think we have um, done it like previously too. The main thing with bachelor's is that you essentially have the issue of like not completing 30s, 13 years, but just 12 years. Now, what's the story with that? Now, in Germany, whenever somebody wants to study um, the bachelor's, they have to do 13 years of schooling. In India, we generally just have 12 years. And this is the reason we have to do one extra year when we are coming from India to study in Germany, a bachelor's program. Now, there are three different ways to do that. The first one is student colleague. So student colleague is a preparatory program that you have to do. And there you have standard subjects. For example, if you're doing the T course, you have subject like maths, physics, uh, chemistry, and you know, uh, phys yeah, physics and things like that. Then afterwards, if you're doing M course, then the subjects are going to be different. But most of the students, if they want to do something, they have to talk Just a second. Yeah, so we have to take care of that. Learning German till B1, B2. Um, this is something you have to do in student colleague. Generally, when you're trying to apply there, you have to write the entrance examination. That is also very important. If you have to cover like, you know, one extra year, you can either do it with student colleague or you can do one year of bachelor's. This is going to be the second option that we are going to talk about. Then all of the 
student colleague part that you're actually like the studying the exams and stuff. Towards the end, you have to write the final exam, which is FSP or Feststellungsprüfung. And after that, like 50% of the score that you get there and 50% that you have in your 12th grade, then you get the final score with which you're able to apply to different kind of German universities. B2 is generally what we recommend here when you're applying for especially like, you know, public universities. You can also like do the student click from private universities. It is not so dramatic, but um, like, you know, for public, yes, like you have lesser fees and things like that. Then um, the website that you can take a look at that is uh, studentcollegues.de. First, after first year of bachelor's, um, you can also like, you know, study in Germany. But if you want to study in German taught programs, the German requirement stays the same. So you have to have like B2 or like, you know, like C1 or something. But if you want to come for English taught programs, you can, if you can find one, then it is not a big problem. I know I have a student right now in job course and this student, her name is Arshdeep and she's from Berlin. And she did her first year of law in India. And then afterwards, she's right now studying in SRH Berlin, which is also not a bad university at all. So yeah, it's private, but like, you know, as long as you're able to um, find a place and if you don't want to like, you know, invest the time of like learning German, which I highly recommend, um, then like these kind of options also work out. You generally have lesser courses after this because many times you are fixed in a particular field. So like changing field becomes a bit more difficult. And then you have uh, IELTS, like generally if you're coming for English start programs. After diploma, like this generally isn't recognized by uni assist, but you can apply directly to the normal universities. So there I have also seen cases where people have been able to like do their diploma and then directly apply for bachelors in Germany, but very few universities accept that. So like this is something you have to keep in mind. About the masters in Germany part. Now, masters in German you can do in two ways. Either you can go for the German taught programs, which is you learn German till B2, you write the test of exam, which where you generally need four by four. So like, you know, you need four points in all of the four sections. Now, this is very important to remember because there are two types of universities. There's one university which tells you that, okay, we don't care about the individual score in every single section, but we just care about the overall score. So for example, in my case, I was able to get an admit into TU Hamburg because they said, okay, we don't care about the individual sections. We just need that the total average is four. That means you need to have a total of 16 points in your test of exam. I had 17, but I had like 17 very differently. Not even 17. So like first I had 16. 16 was 5533. Now for most of the universities which are asking for 4444, I'm not eligible, right? But then you can find universities which have different kind of uh, language requirements like I had with TU Hamburg. So this meant that I had like total of 16 points, I could apply to the university and I can actually start studying there. Then I also applied for revaluation. That meant I actually ended up having 17 points instead of 16 points. That was then like, you know, making everything a, a lot more clear. So that is very important that you can like also go for like, you know, German taught program. Then you have um, no IELTS requirement, which is very nice. You can have more courses. That is like, you can apply to all of the courses which are available to the native German students too. You have way lesser competition because most of the students they don't go for German taught program. They actually go for English taught programs. But if you want to stand out, then I personally really recommend German taught programs. I think the value that you get from German taught programs, that is really, really good. Then you have more secure job opportunities in general, and you have no percentage bar whatsoever. Now, of course, there are so many other people too that, who tell you that like, you know, it's, it's so difficult to like study um, masters in German taught. And I can tell you that it is difficult to study masters in German taught, but the difficulty reduces after you're actually spending some time and going through the program. For me, the first one month was very difficult. I'll tell you honestly, like, I think the first one month I was like, you know, kaisa bura decision le liya yeh pe aake. But it very easily, like, you know, I was able to like uh, adapt very easily to that after two, three months. But it takes some time in the starting. Once you adapt, so many new opportunities open up because you can join more associations you can be a part of let's say more german environment you can have better context with within your university and within your class and then you 
come across these insider informations okay like you know a vacancy is opening up there and opportunities opening up there there's a part-time job there and all of this like happens a lot um, easily in the german thought so in in the german circle then you know the international circle that's why i generally say that if you want to come for the german thought program it i think it's really not a bad idea at all of course for english thought programs you have a lot of like you know streamlined processes that you don't have to write the german you don't have to write german proficiency exams and things like that but um i still think like even if you're coming for english taught programs it is nice it is great that you get admission there but still learn german on the side it is very very important so here generally you don't have any kind of like german requirement you have more international environment of course um and you have like you know decent job opportunities but you also have to like take a look at the requirements directly on the university's website now i also personally think like coming for masters is a pretty smart idea because everything is very streamlined again for bachelors you have to take one extra year out you have to learn german and like so many other things but for masters it's like pretty simple you do your bachelors and then afterwards you can like start with your masters right away so then we have masters um, in germany some of the stories that we want to talk about for example there was a student pratik and he was talking about his experience that he completed his btech in 6 years and had 10 backlogs and he still got decent job offers which was very nice and then there was another student called ashish and he was able to get inside a public university with a cgp of 7.1 and ielts 6.0 and german a2 so these kind of like stories matter and like i'm sharing these things so that you can understand that it is not that you only have to worry about the same thing over and over again then that is your cgpa yes cgpa is important but if you have lesser cgpa so what can you do if you have lesser cgpa right you have two particular options in front of you the first option is that you can actually think about coming for a german thought program the second option is you can apply to a lot more universities and increase the chances that you are going to find a place or you can also think about applying to some private universities and like i've always said there are some shady private universities but there definitely are some very good private universities too so you can apply to the better private universities now how do you find which one is better which one is shady you do your research you talk to the people on linkedin you take a look at the alumni see what their experiences has has been and then afterwards you decide on one university over the other right so that's the most important thing then um here we also had another case which was um for from manith so he actually has his own youtube channel i think i will show that to you real quick so this is manit and this is his youtube channel he also like makes videos about like you know studying in germany and eligibility criteria and things like that and like what i found like very cool was recently that he also like made a course review for us and i was like very excited because he never told me that he did did a course review and i'm happy the kind of like insights he shared about his experience from a student side because I know that as an instructor like my idea about like how the course is changing the life of students is very different but when you hear it directly from a student it is so so much different. So you can also like you know take a look at his channel it is called Hallo aus Bavaria. I really like um what he has been doing. Yeah. So that was that and he had um five admits. The first admit that he received was in TU Clausthal. It is Maschinenbau German thought program. at just not housing university of duisburg as and so like he was a core student and his profile was also 7.4 at cgpa and at the time of applying he had a1 uh, certification but now of course like he has like you know b2 which is good now what are the main intakes the main intakes are 15th january for first april so 15th generally is the application deadline for the summer the, the semester starting on first april then we have 15th july which is for 1st october so people who are still thinking that maybe they are a bit late or something you are not late yet you still have 45 days and if you have like most of your documents ready or if you think you can get them ready in like 7 days let's say just the transcript you can still apply in this intake like i don't see a problem with that and generally afterwards when you're thinking about doing your masters you can finish them finish the masters up in like 2 to 3 years 
so that's also pretty nice now let's go to the next slide which is about the big academy so what exactly is big academy and what do we do there because again many students have questions with that so how i designed big academy is to like make an online portal which supports you with everything regarding to germany because you have so many different kind of like you know um courses and things like that but there is no course which actually trains you for your journey to germany this is where big academy comes inside and there's no other online platform which is like this and what we do is like you know something that everybody that, that most of the students who are enrolled with us they're very happy about and the support that we provide is still the time the students masters ends in germany then afterwards let's say so this is how the course looks like when afterwards you are done with the studying part and stuff and you say okay like you know i also want to then uh, search for jobs now so we also have a separate course completely which is complete course for finding jobs in germany but right now when you're coming for studies this is the more relevant course for you and the price is going to be changing so it is going to be increasing by 100 euros on 1st june 2021 and we had reduced the price uh, previously because of the pandemic many students were not able to like you know um, have the same kind of salary that they were having pre-pandemic but now because the things are stabilizing slowly we are also like you know putting the price back up to 499 euros so here we have all of the details about um, what kind of things are important when you're thinking about studying in Germany. How do you study bachelor's in Germany? How do you study master's in Germany? How do you do PhD in Germany? How, how is the visa process like? Then afterwards, what is the process after arrival? So, you know, how do you enroll yourself, semester contributions, um, Anmeldung, so like, you know, city registrations and things like that. Then finding part-time jobs, how do you do that? So even if you think about it, like I have a 24 minute video here, just like about the importance of learning German. So like here I talk about different kind of things, how it ex exactly helps now and networking. So this is also like something very important. Then afterwards we have um, this organizing your first semester in Germany, also like pretty important. We have the permanent, res permanent residency and citizenship stuff. Then um, important websites that you might find helpful you have trainings and workshops so we have five so this is like not teaching you a1 a2 but it teaches you the tactics how exactly do you optimize your german language learning we also have a test staff workshop again like i will tell you that there will be nobody else who is going to like also give you support for german taught programs and this is where our course completely stands out because if you take a look at this uh, infographic you will see that we also mentioned that we have support for german taught programs that means you learn german and you want to like you know come to german universities and german taught programs then we can help you with that that is not a problem at all i have native german fluency so this means if you have questions you can write to me and we can actually handle that most of the consultants you will see they will have no idea about german anyways and they're also not going to support you to come for german taught program because if they send you to a private university, they will get a much bigger cut. Private universities generally give an affiliate commission of anywhere from 1,500 to 2,500 euros. Now just think about it. That's a massive amount. So this is why like, you know, many consultants, they try to push it towards private universities, but I don't see an uh, incentive there. Like for me, like there's no benefit because we have no collaboration with private universities. Even if we would have, we would like handpick and we will see, okay, like which ones are the best private universities. Because if you take a look at these, like, you know, SRH universities, they are nice. Uh, even the Jacobs University, it is decent, a bit pricey, but yes, it's not bad. KLU University, that is also decent. So there are some decent private universities there, which you can definitely study in. But um, this is not like where our money comes from. Our money comes from, from the standard, like, you know, charging the students. That's it. We don't have any bias. We don't have any kind of like, you know, behind the scene deals or something with any a company or um, universities and stuff. And that's why we can provide completely rational decisions and, and like suggestions to you guys. And nobody else will do that. So that's about the course and we have everything you need to know in one single place. We have 90 plus detailed lessons. You have lifelong access to the course. It also saves your time because you have time for more important things than let's say you want to learn German or something. You don't have to, again, dig through all of the work, like, you know, what kind of websites to look at, where to find the requirements and things like that. All of that we 
uh, put in front of you and you can see you can follow the steps and you can like go ahead and do it so then afterwards uh, you have application process after arrival process setting in germany settling in germany and all of these all of these things you also are going to learn from somebody who has already been through the process now the thing is like at this time i will tell you honestly i have you know five six different projects going on my marketing consulting company like that takes so much of my time that right now i'm essentially like you know working till 11 30 at night i have to wake up at 5 again 5 30 i start working again and like these are this is how my days are going right now but even during all of this i'm still able to find time so that i can actually take a live session for the students who are enrolling in the course so for me like this is really a priority like if i took some money from somebody i take the responsibility for it and i actually work for it it's not like you know you just enroll in the course and you never hear from me again like that never happens we are having live sessions every two weeks. The next live session that I'm taking is on Monday and at 7 p.m. Indian Standard Time. So like this is how dedicated I am to this. And it's not like a free thing that yes, just enroll in my course, blah, blah. But I actually take out time. I actually provide support to the students and I love to stay in touch with them. So that's the main story. Like this is something where we really stand apart. Like the customer orientation that we have our students mean to us. This is the reason we provide support till the very end. Most of the consultants that you will see, they will only provide support till you have uh, admit from a university, that's it, and you find everything on your own. But for us, of course, like, you know, we are charging like just 299 euros right now with the coupon discount. If you would go to any of the other consultants, you will see the prices. You will see the prices of like three lakh rupees, four lakh rupees. And then like people complain that we have like expensive course. I can understand like, you know, it might be expensive for your particular situation, but for German standards, it's absolutely nothing. It's peanuts. So 299 is really not a lot, but like this is, like, we use different kinds of technologies. We use video recordings and like with online support, we don't have unnecessary cost. For example, I don't have the cost of owning a shop or something. So I don't have to pay the rent there. So all of these cost cuttings that we are having, we are able to like pass on these benefits to the students directly. Yeah? And that's why the course is also like so much cheaper. Then here are all the details. So like you have uh, support for document preparation. So like if you want us to review anything, you know, your visa application, your statement of purpose, your letter of recommendation, your CV, university application, you can just send it to us. And then we make a video response to it, like showing what kind of things have to be changed and we send it back to you. And this is essentially how we are doing all of this and we don't have any kind of limit whatsoever. So like, you know, we only review your document three times, four times, five times. Nope, we don't have any limits. You can send it to us as many times as you want. So that's the main thing. Then afterwards we are having um, also the application assistance let's say so this is pretty much like you know if you have any kind of questions whatsoever we solve it for you then um, you have validity lifetime of course the payment methods we have credit card debit card paypal and direct bank transfer and we also so for us like what makes the most sense and we are also going to be removing the payment plans completely in the future and this is the reason like we are just having um, one-time payment so um, if you take a look at Big Academy versus other consultants, like I have actually done my master's from TU Hamburg and I've, I've made a <laughs> uh, pretty nice, um, I think a review video about like unboxing my master's certificate or something. And I think the ideas I come up with sometimes. If you take a look at this video, so this one here, this was my um, video where I was like, you know, talking about all of the story of how it was to actually like, you know, um, study master's in... Uh, Hamburg and what was our story previously the time I met Alina and all of these things like it was a super detailed video and like I think it was very positively taken but yes so after doing my master's in TU Hamburg then afterwards I did exactly what I wanted to do and that is like I wanted to start it start something of my own so BIG I think many people feel like you know we make a lot of money from BIG but BIG is like 15 or 20 percent of our entire revenue but like the most of the money that like comes for us is of course from our main business, which is marketing consulting. And that is like taking care of other Facebook ads, YouTube ads and things like that. And that's where like, you know, most of our money comes from. That means like we are not so dependent on this that we have to give you wrong advices or like, you know, we have to like, you know, make you happy or something. 
if we see your profile doesn't fit for a particular thing, we will just tell you right away. And like, we don't have any problems with that. You have lifetime access to our course, but for most of the consultants, you only have like, you know, till the time you're getting an admit. So after the course price increase, which is happening on 1st June, the course will become somewhere around 44,000 Indian rupees. And I know this is pricey for many people. That's why you still have the opportunity of getting inside now with just 299 euros, which is going to be just around 26,000 Indian rupees. And with this, you are essentially investing for the next three years of your life. So anytime you have any questions, you want to be a part of the community, you can actually do that by just like, you know, um, enrolling in the course with 299 euros. The coupon code right now is webinar 100. And like I showed in the previous slide, we are having this um, coupon code only for the first 10 signups. So you can see that here on the bottom side. So here, yeah. So that's the main story, this one. Then afterwards, we are having, we talked about this. Also talked about this. So the coupon code, like I generally like to keep it like open just for the same day because many people like who try to postpone it for the next day, they never end up like buying anyways. So that's why the coupon discount is anyways available only till tonight. And the coupon code is webinar hyphen 100. Now is the time where you can ask your questions and the questions are going to be like valid, like the question period is going to be there till the next 15 minutes. So whatever you have, we can jump to my blackboard or my iPad and then we can like talk about these questions there. Okay. Okay, guys, so like now is your time. Anytime you have any kind of questions, Yogesh Halavat is saying, Bhai, I'm also from Decrush Yeah, nice. All right, so I'm going to take relevant questions because I know anybody can like ask anything, but we want to have questions which are purely related to um, the course because otherwise, many other people they do not have the opportunity of asking it. So if you have any kind of questions regarding the course and stuff, like you can just directly do that. And here you can find the course, like the link for the coupon discount that you will also find in the description. For example, you go to this, your channel, then afterwards you will see the live webinar going on right now. We have 212 people watching. And in the description, then you will find the link. So I've written also that it is active till tonight. And once it gets deactivated, I will also mention directly that it is no longer active now. No? Okay, perfect. Now let me take you back to the screen. Uh, I also take this chat box out so we can all see. Just a minute. Okay. So I should be able to see what you're writing directly on the screen now. Devajyoti is saying, will there be any future discounts? I don't know, Devajyoti, uh, we will see. So Yash is saying, how early should we apply for the course in a second, I'm a second year student. So Yash, the thing is, generally many people like do it for the third year, right? But I've also seen like students applying directly in the second year so that they have longer time. Now, if you think about it, you're paying for something only like 299 euros. Now, either you use that 299 euros thing for five years, you get you pay the same price, or you're using that 299 euros for six years, right? You're still paying the same time. So essentially the value that you're getting out of the 299 euros you pay is more because you're enrolling earlier and you're able to go through everything in more uh, detail for a longer time. Nira just saying, do you add new videos to the course or only this number of videos are available? I think this is a very nice question. So if you would take a look at our course curriculum, 
we are also having um, a lot of like new things added. For example, here you see new course shortlisting workshop. This was added new. All of these bonus sections that you're seeing, all of these were added new and they were like not included in the final course. No? And I think it is also very important at this moment that you actually like, you know, hear from somebody else who also has been a course student. So I'm going to like quickly play his video now. Hey guys, I am Rishabh Pachao and I received an admit from Technical University of Munich for a Masters in Aerospace in winter semester 2020. I still remember it was August 2019 when I first came across the fact that this is a German taught program and I was really disheartened to know this because I didn't think I would be able to do it. That was the time when I came across Bharat's YouTube channel and uh, I was really motivated by his story and it made me realize that whatever I'm dreaming of is realistic. Being an Indian studying in a German taught program can be a reality if you are ready to put in the hard work. I immediately enrolled for his course that is the complete course for studying in Germany and uh, I would say that was the best decision that I took so far in this journey. You know there is a lot of information available on the internet about uh, studying in Germany and application procedure and everything. To get such an organized information under one roof whether Germany is the correct country for you to study in up to you getting enrolled in the university and even after that. Uh, so in that terms the course is really priceless. Apart from that the bi-weekly sessions that happen are the best thing that you can ever get from a course. Uh, you can ask any of your queries, uh, no matter how stupid the sound, you can you can simply ask them to Bharat and he answers each and every of them. You can get your documents reviewed n number of times uh, like your SOPs, your LORs, your CVs. You can just uh, get them reviewed in the bi-weekly sessions and so that you stand out among the lot. And nowadays Bharat has started conducting a lot of cool workshops uh, which really uh, enhance your personality as well as uh, improve your professional skills so uh, that has uh, made the course even more valuable completely lets you know what you have to expect when you land in germany and as i said there is a lot of information available on internet regarding studying in germany sometimes it becomes really difficult to trust which information is correct and which is just fake one on a credibility scale i would uh, rate this course 10 out of 10 because all the information that you are getting is coming from a person who has been there done that Bharat has uh, done his master's from Germany in a public university in a German taught program <laughs> so uh, you just name the situation and Bharat has personal experience of the situation uh, he can guide you perfectly throughout your application process and even after that I would really encourage everyone to go for this course and I assure you that if you uh, invest your money in this and uh, money and time in this course you won't regret and uh, that will be the best decision that you take in your journey towards studying in Germany thank you Okay, so that was Rishabh who had his experience of the course. Now, I want to take a few questions which was actually um, asked by Shivani and by Vishal. So Shivani was asking like, what if like, you know, we take the course and we realize that the profile is not suitable. So like, this is why we actually say that it is important that you take, do some kind of research about this uh, in advance. Generally, we have the master's admit profiles and like from our experience, what we have seen is like, we have seen like students even with like, 64 percent like you know getting inside the german public university so like that so i show you 64 percent then you can find scores like 7.12 then you can see um further scores even 44 percent but like that was for a private university 69 percent this is also like you know um students have been able to get inside with these kind of scores 67 percent then we had another 68 percent 7.83 73 percent 69 percent 8.2 then we had another one with 63 percent and this is also for a public university Hochschule Heilbronn so and from Mumbai University directly so that's what I say like you know these are of course like so many um, of these universities like that are like the students whose profiles we know right now but there are also like so many other students who have able to get admission like with lower scores, right? Here, if you say, take the story of like 56. So the submission that we received was almost like last year, 2020. And this is for English literature with 56% score. This person was able to study in LMU. So which is the Ludwigs Maximilian Universität, which is in Munich, right? So you will find these kind of like cases like... Um, pretty often so this is like nothing dramatic 5.99 you, you see like okay this is for SRH University but we have 7.2 also from JNTU Kakinada which is Hochschule Bochum 
So my experience has been that like as long as you have like above 65 person, I think like the chances are very high that you get a place without any kind of major problems. If you have above 60 percent, then it is a like a gray zone, right? And like above 65 percent for English taught programs, generally you don't have a problem. When you're coming for German taught programs, anyways, like your score does not matter. That means even if you're coming afterwards um, with like you know 50 percent score in our program and you are doing German on the side, you learn German till B2, and you're actually afterwards then applying for universities, you will also not have a problem because we can also support you with that. So these are all of the numbers that I have. Like I generally don't like to talk about these things when I don't have the data, but now I have the data and the data points that I have, at least just for 2020, this is up to like what, um, 204 lines. So this one, this is very important for us because we don't want to talk about things when we don't have any kind of like, you know, data behind that. So that's that. Okay, so I've just checked. We have six more uh, coupon discounts left. So for webinar 100. Okay. Now let's take more questions here. Okay, we have this question. Let me take it up. I'm currently in cl class 12. So my question is, what are the courses for humanities students for bachelors? And should I do bachelors for masters? bachelor's or master's okay so you have a lot of courses and i think like this is another thing where i have to actually like you know tell you about um one hey guys i am rishabh pachao and i received an admit from technical university of munich for uh, masters in aerospace in winter semester 2020 i still remember it hello everyone my name is sukun and i'm pursuing masters in expanded media from hochschule darmstadt this is for the summer semester 2021. This course uh, deals with various transmedia practices. It forms a... Now, that's the thing that I'm talking about. Like, it's not always about engineering because many people think that, like, you when you're coming for Germany, like, you only study engineering, but that's not the case. Like, Sukun, like, she got into expanded media and... She's a graphic designer. She was a graphic designer. She's into singing. She's into all sorts of stuff. But like, you know, she was able to get a place, a very nice place also with just like, you know, humanities field. So like this kind of idea that like Germany is purely for engineers and stuff like this is very wrong. So if you're from humanities, from commerce, from some other fields, you can also come inside. Now, take a look at the data points we have here. So we just don't have like, you know, students only from mechanical fields. Now, if you take a look completely, we have people coming from architecture, we have people from biotechnology, computer science, data analytics, economics. Then we also have I think I also saw commerce previously was there commerce here. Okay, so like maybe not in yeah, commerce here. So you also have that then we had like more students joining in for English programs. So just like who have studied English there in, in their bachelors and stuff. There are also there are IT people, people who are were, who were in languages, management. So this is all like, you know, kind of false myths that people generally have. You can study from almost any of the field that you had previously still in Germany without any kind of like major drama. So again, like I am waiting for any kind of like more relevant questions that you might have because I see like I just have now five more coupons available and we are going to like send you an email reminder like in case like you would still like to uh, enroll okay further Suyog is saying what is the criteria for job experience again like this is not relevant for the course I'm looking right now students who actually want to enroll and they have questions regarding the course Okay. Mm. Okay, so I think I will wait for 30 more seconds 
and then afterwards i'm going to like uh, end the live session because anyways like students generally are able to enroll afterwards my time is very limited and um if you would still have any kind of questions you can ask me later nikhil is saying i'm started exploring education in germany from last two days can i enroll now or explore after some time so nikhil the main thing is like it doesn't really matter because even if you enroll right now you have no limit no so the access that you get for the course is unlimited and generally most of the times if you want to study in germany there are ways to study in germany no matter which field you you're coming from that's the bottom line here okay so i see there are no more relevant questions regarding the course so i'm going to like close the live session now but if you still have any kind of questions afterwards you can write to me at bharat at bharat in germany dot com and i think the coupon discount i'll quickly take a look yeah we have three more discounts left and this is going to be valid till tonight so if you would like to enroll you still have the time you can use the link given in description to enroll and uh, if you have questions you can write to us